For some reason, you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman and enter the evidence room, though I don't know to what end yet? Yay. Yeah. However, something unexpected happened. Exactly. Officer Meckins barged in on you. When asked to show your ID card, you pulled a knife on him. However, Officer Meckins panicked. Yes? And the white coat you were wearing was soiled with blood. A bloody white coat? You can't just walk out like that. So, and that's another thing too, his coat is white. So you hid the coat in your locker. Yes. Not bad, partner. So you admit to it. You said not bad, so you admit. Hmm. Now then, Officer Marshall, are you ready to tell us the truth? Looks like I underestimated y'all. I hope you're happy now, Mr. Edgeworth. Huh? Two years ago. They really hate Edgeworth. You're only half as persistent as you are today. We all wouldn't have to be here now. Now would we? Officer Marshall, tell the court what you did. All of it. Please, I'm tired of dancing around this cowboy hoe. Alright. It seems the time has come. Officer Marshall's confession. I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by and let it die. I stole the detective's ID and dressed like him. I plan to take out the evidence. I wasn't expecting Officer Meckins. I knocked him out and managed to escape. I knew which areas wouldn't be caught on camera. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5:15. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5:15. That sounded like a confession to me. So the supposed victim is really you. But there's one thing I still don't understand. Traces of a large quantity of blood were found on the floor of the evidence room. If no one was murdered, then how could that be? Officer Mackins managed to cut his own hand. My guess is he's the donor. It was way too much blood for such a small donation. What the heck do you want me to prove here? The heck? I had, I had to do it that day. I couldn't just stand by it and let it die. What guy? When you say it, you mean... Do you even have to ask, partner? Yes, I'll not instant. Two years have passed since that case was closed. It was going to be completely ended with the transfer that day. Not if I have anything to do with it. That incident's not over. But what did you hope to accomplish by sneaking into the evidence room? When a case is closed, only that case lead detective can look through the evidence. I want to have a look at it myself one more time. No matter what the cost. I don't care what anyone says, partner. That case is mine. But Officer Marshall wasn't in charge of that investigation. Why does he care so much about it? That day was my last chance. That's why I... I saw the ride to get dressed like him. I plan to take out the evidence. Why? <clears throat> why do you disguise yourself as Detective Goodman? If I didn't make it look like Goodman was carrying out the evidence transferal, I'd be arrested for stealing the evidence. It wouldn't get me anyway. So you did to pull the security camera. And the detective's ID card. I stole that the morning of the incident. So that really was why Goodman started filling out that lost item report. I returned his ID card. I left it on the floor in the prosecution's office parking lot. The ID card I found was left there by Officer Marshall. So essentially, you managed to succeed despite your lack of foresight. What do you mean, partner? I mean, the fingerprints. Activated lock, of course. No matter how well you disguise yourself, you can't change your fingerprints. Under normal circumstances, you wouldn't have been able to open that lock yourself. But he couldn't, because a rubber glove is having a stuck in the door. That means that the Goodman must have opened the locker before Officer Marshall. Hmm. I will inspect your Officer Meckins. I wasn't expecting Officer Mekins, I knocked him out. Okay. You pulled a knife on Officer Mekins to try to drive him off? Let's just say I was a little surprised. I won't plan on being in the evidence room for no more than five minutes. I didn't think anyone would actually come in during that short time. But Officer Mekins certainly is a one in a million type of person. The second detective will intrude and demanding to be shown his ID. I'll have to take I'll have to think a little more about his race this year. When did Edgeworth really get so much influence? Anyway, he threw himself at me and I ended up cutting him slightly. I'm sorry he had turned out that way. With me knocking him out and everything. By the way, what happened to your knife? 
Oh, you mean this one? Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, they knocked off some mechans out, and... May I should escape. I knew which areas would be called kingdom. True. So you did your research beforehand. Those who go one of the days are unprepared don't live, partner. I didn't think you would make a difference, though. The security tape is erased. Every six hours, if all I had gone on plan, no footage would have been left. However, you bloodied your coat in your struggle with Officer Meckins. If someone was in the scary room when I, when I came out with a jig, would have been up. I opened my locker and stashed it in there. What was Officer Meckins doing during this time? What else? He was sleeping like a baby. What you're saying is on that day... Mm -hmm. There wasn't any murder in the evidence room at 5.15. That's a little sus. But the blood found out found the scene certainly indicates a crime took place. What are you blind? Victim shown on that type of money, and I'm not dead yet, partner. But you stole the evidence from the locker. Actually, no, I didn't. Why not? When I opened the locker, the evidence was already gone. What? Miss Edgeworth, where is that evidence? It's still missing, Your Honor. <clears throat> I think Goodman's locker was already empty. Someone else stole the evidence. <coughs> Officer Marshall, may I ask you one thing? Fire away, partner. It's free country. You just remember, I'm always free to decide whether or not to answer. Why did you do this? Sending a detective's ID, injuring a police officer, this is no small offense. Moreover, you're an officer yourself. This will have serious consequences. It can't just be forgiven with a simple cut in salary. Not that salary cuts are ever a valid solution. We're about to learn about SL9, are we? Like I said, this isn't your case, this one's mine. And I'll do anything it takes to get the answer I'm satisfied with. <sighs> the witness has unusual amounts of Zell. Let's hear more. I can't just forget the SL9 incident. You know why? Why? That case was solved two years ago, wasn't it? Yes. That's the reason the evidence was stored in the evidence room. Joe Dark was convicted for his crime. One thing I can say for sure is he deserved his sentence. I remember the Joe Dark case. It involved serial murders, murders didn't it? I don't intend to complain about how it turned out. But there's something that still bothers me. Something went down in that trial. Something no one will talk about. What happened? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to find out. Why is he so concerned with that incident? Maybe I should present him with what I think his real reason is. I had a feeling it'll wind up here sooner or later. Everyone involved here is related in some way to that case. I better take another look at that file. So now I'm showing the file. Okay. You know why. Let's present the file. Let's get in there now. Let's get in there now. Let's get our answers. I've been waiting to hear about what this stupid case is about for the longest time. So tell me what the frick it's about. I'm getting tired of people just dancing around just, oh, he's a serial murderer. What more is there to this case? Why is everyone panicking? Why is everyone running? Why is everyone acting like this? Give me the answers I want. Come on. Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you, you've been sipping too much cactus juice, partner. I have the SL9 incident file right here. Oop, wrong button. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. <laughs> in a list of murdered victims. Neil Marshall, are you related to this man? Neil Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you've heard the name. Two years ago. He received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? A prosecutor? You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors award. Now I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right. He was killed. And the case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? Father. He was... My brother? Oh, word. He was investigating the murder with Damon Gant, the Deputy Chief of Police. Oh, word? A group of detectives I was part of worked under them. We were desperate to, to prosecute the killer. Oh god. 
This man came up with this tiny little knife and did all this? No way. Joe Dark. My brother fought Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. He was, he was arrogant and in incarcerated. The case was finally closed. At least according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. I knew my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. And that's it. That's the reason for your insane action. There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Huh? Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened to the police department on the day of the crime. Okay, but I want to hear more about this SL9 incident now. I kind of get that. I'll get back to Lawn Sky here in a second. It's probably all ties in, but what the frick happened to the SL9? That was the last day of the, uh, the SL9 case could be re reopened. Not, say, not satisfied with his resolution, Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meckins confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. He didn't want to kill him. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. Yes? The thing that happened by chance never ceased to amaze. At exactly the same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office, this fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance? I'd be more than just that. So if no one was met at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. Which in turn means only one person could have committed the crime. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky. Hold on. Wait! A very what what wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. What do you got if you're sleeping now? Which is why we examined the incident at the police department today. But uh. There's only one reason the, the defendant was not convicted yesterday. It yet remained the mystery of the sim simultaneous murder at the police department. It seems to me, the boy got the draw on you, partner. Oh no, not no. All, all of the mystery of the police department had been resolved, no doubt about it. Our sole murder took place at the prosecutor's office, the only suspect was Lana Sky. And the testimony of Miss Angel Starr is completely incontestable. If you have a response, make it a single word or less. I rest my case. It seems this trial has reached its conclusion, there's no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. White. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time. Disproving the alleged murder at the police department. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera tape was fake. But I didn't realize... That would end up proving Lana guilty. Now that the time of the verdict has arrived, this court finds the defendant. Somebody. Somebody. God bless. Emma? Oh. Emma? Y Your Honor, wait. Emma? The defense has an objection. A scientific objection. Right? Uh, what do you mean, right? Uh, Mr. Wright? Uh, are you, are you this girl's guardian? No, Your Honor. Oh, uh, in a sense. Please, Your Honor, all I'm asking is for a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edgeworth, please. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute, I'll give you three. What a nice guy. Maybe sucking them off did help. Ah, uh, I was kind of in shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 is to refer to Joe Dark Killings? Now that she mentions it, the names of both Sky Sisters were in that file. But that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to do that day, but I knew his fingerprints had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing. The other handprint. You mean the trace of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker. But no fingerprints were found on it, right? No, but I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'll be sure to find a clue. So, I ran over there and looked at it again. Baller! Let's go, Emma! Yeah! 
So, did you find something? Um, no. Well, that's... Okay, Emma. Huh? Sorry, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator. No, Emma, 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 stop! Emma, don't do this to yourself. I'm already heartbroken with Maya. Don't do this to yourself, right? I see the sun coming down on the camera, too. Don't do this to yourself. Don't, Ma. Don't. Better than this. Um, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. Oh, honey, don't know. Emma, you got this, Ma. You got it, Ma. And I'm just an attorney. But Mr. Bright, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can't find something wrong with them... Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone can save Lana, it's you. But now she's on my side. Me? Oh, boy. Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright. In regards to the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Uh... It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Mm -hmm. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Bright, I'm sorry I can't be of more use. But still, if you can't find anything wrong with that blood print, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Bright. We don't have all day. Y yes, Your Honor. If I ever needed to concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with that handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Um... Oh, uh, God, um... Oh, I got... Wait! Is it the badger? Wasn't the badger standing in front of the locker? Well, with that handprint. Could there be something I'm missing? Wait a minute. Remember that video again? Remember that video again? Cause he has, he has, okay, he has the locker on the far top right. Hold on. It's being blocked by the badger. Yeah, homeboy's blocking the locker. Can I get a look at the print? Is that doable? Please move. Give me, like, the, per the perfect camera angle is all I ask, man. The perfect mangle. I just asked for the angle, brother. That locker looks kind of clean to me. It would be the badger, right? Because he's just he's freaking cock-blocking the locker. Huh. And Officer Mekin said he put... That's probably the best image I'm gonna get of the locker, and there's nothing on it. There's nothing on it. Yeah, there ain't nothing on it. Okay. So. It's either there's nothing on the locker, or the stupid badger is blocking everything. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call you stupid. I object. Objection. The handprint left- Oh, it's at the bottom- Oh, wait, yeah, there is a problem here, then. This handprint left at the crime scene. Clearly, shows a contradiction. The only thing that seems clear is you're grasping, Mr. Wright. You've been- You've been staring pretty intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Uh, yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is, well, missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn on there? Yes, actually. Yes, something that when drawn will completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Hmm. This way the defense is simply trying to buy time. Favor, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's gotta be something I can use. Question is, which item can prove something is missing in the floor plan? The badger. I'm not even gonna think. It's the badger. It's the badger. What about that piece of plywood? Blue badger? Mascot of the police force. Defender of truth, guardian of proof. Ha <laughs> ha, that name came true, man. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. 
Let's take a look at the floor plans of the crime scene. The blue badger is not here. So, yeah, so. Hold on. So watch what happens when we put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Blocking the lockers. Well? Well, what? It blocks the lock. <sighs> That's right. So long as the blue badger is dancing here, it would be impossible to place a handprint at this spot on the locker. What? I'm still in it, man. I'm still fighting. I'm still fighting. Emma, you go. Stop means, uh, just exactly what does that mean? It means it can't be done. What are you saying? Bledges will undeniably find on that locker. Don't look at me. I didn't put it there. And she's back by my side. Emma, let's go. Uh, Mr. Wright, think it through scientifically. Emma, on that afternoon... Uh-huh. Officer Meckins was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room. Right. After he put it down, it would be impossible to leave a handprint on that locker. So that must mean this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. This one moment, I would not allow such fall fish blunderish in my courtroom. Hey! It may sound far-fetched, Your Honor, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department's evidence room, there was another murder. Blood was spilled not once, but twice. But how? One time was captured on this tape, taken by the security camera. The other time, I got no clue right now. Officer Meckins cut his hand from which a trivial amount of blood fell. Problem is, the other time... Uh-huh, there's something else going on. And it was probably deleted. Right. Right. Someone bled prior to the struggle shown on this tape. It had to have been... It had to have been... Detective Goodman, when he was really murdered, that would make sense. That would make a whole heck of a lot of sense. That's ridiculous. I refuse to accept your absurd claim. What do you mean? My absurd claim? The murder portrayed in the security tape has been proven to be fake. However, that does not explain the blood mark found in the locker. I'm not done, Edgeworth. You can't look. Childhood friends, I don't care. I'm going. So then assuming this murder you, you purport really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence that proves when it occurred. When did the first incident occur? To summarize the defense's claim that Brian Dolphinson Meckins me in the cut by Jake Marshall, who is posing as Detective Goodman, another incident took place in that evidence room. That's right, the blood marks on the locker proves this. Hmm. And they will! Then tell us, when did the first incident occur? As Miss Edwards said, proof must be presented. Proof that shows when the murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that can show that. Now then, will the defense please present its evidence? What shows when the first crime took place? I need a time. And I'm thinking. And I'm thinking. And I'm thonking. And I'm thonking is this, because this is still unexplained. 420? I'm, I'm kind of thinking that 7 7 guy's a little sus. Goodman's. One piece of evidence. Vase doesn't help me. Handprint. This won't help. Just in case. Go dark. Miles Edward falling the sky. Mm -mm. No. It's gotta be this. What shows when the first crime took place? Take that, Take that your honor. The crime took place inside the evidence room, then the killer would have had to enter it. And in order to do so, an ID card would have been required. An ID card? Oh! An ID card record! Exactly, Your Honor, at 420. I like the 7-7 seven -seven guy, come on. Officer Meggins brought the blue badger panel into the evidence room at, let's see here, before 4.50 p.m. And the, if the crime took place before that time, then it would be 4.40 p.m. Oh, wait, but it's not, but it's not, it's not Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth, it's not Edgeworth. Just what have you done? I never would have figured you would have the nerve, boy. It's not Edgeworth, though. Drop the act, witness. It doesn't take a lot of thought to figure out it couldn't have been me. Exactly. Hmm? No, but I, I, I get it. No, wait. No, let me, no, I can prove that. Hmm? Nope, I ain't getting it. Hmm? I'm afraid I don't understand either. It's clear from the luminal test that blood was there. However, when the second crime took place, 
both Officer Megan's and Officer Marshall failed to notice the blood. That means the blood from the first crime was wiped away by the real murderer. I would have had just 10 minutes to murder the victim, carry his blood away, his body away, and clean up the blood. And for him, that's physically impossible. That would mean the crime must have taken place before Mr. Edgeworth entered the evidence room. Exactly. Let's look at this chart again. There's only one other card number remaining. Seven, 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 seven. Is there one, two, three, four, five? Seven, 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 seven. I'm holding that seven sevens. Talk about a lucky number. Exactly. But wait, that doesn't make sense. How could Detective Goodman have entered the evidence room since there's no record of his card being used? Was he dragged in there? He must have entered along with the real murderer. Absolutely. That's the only plausible explanation. He went in with 777777. Miss Edgeworth, please look into this ASAP. Find out whose ID number is 777777777777. That's one seven too many, Your Honor. Unfortunately, I'm unable to look up the owner of that ID card. At least at present. What? Explain yourself, son. The ID number 777777 belongs to someone with a rank of Captain O. Gant. It's Gant. Someone who is so called executive officer. We don't have the authority to inquire into such a, pers a person's identity. In a murder case, I feel like you should. But that's ridiculous. Just how? I'm not finished talking, Mr. Wright. There's one situation in which we can be, be granted such authority. If an official charge, charge following as an executive is accepted. An official charge? You're all alike, aren't you? With your cover-ups and your forgeries. That's how the prosecutor's office operates. What the frick? I take pride in my work, Officer Marshall. I would appreciate it if you would keep your slender to yourself. He's about to call him out right now with slander, is it? Okay. Let me ask a question. Yes? No, not to you. To her. The defense didn't know where they Oh, Lana Sky or Emma? Your own little executive. L Lana? Don't be stupid. She's been charged with murder. Of course we looked up her ID number. And it's not 777777. Don't play me for a fool, partner. That's not what I want to ask. All I want to know is one thing about that incident. This is an incident. Answer me this, Chief Prosecutor. That trial two years ago, did you really only use legitimate evidence? Do you need the witness to repeat his question, Chief Prosecutor? I heard him fine, Mr. Edgeworth. Two years ago, I was in charge of prosecution for that trial. At the time, we... Occasionally, we felt the powerlessness of the law. At least, I did. Uh, Lana! I became a prosecutor in order to suppress crime with the law. Go on. But before I realized it, we were the ones being suppressed by the law. Defendant, just what are you saying? I'll ask you again, Chief Prosecutor. During that trial two years ago, did you really present all evidence in the court? Can you look me in an investigator in that crime in the eye and say that you did? Chief Prosecutor, you did it! I don't have to, Officer Marshall. Why won't you answer him? Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to. In order for him to get the verdict he deserved. But Lana! Even if it involved foraging evidence. Oh my god. So it is true. But he's a serial murderer. Wait, but he's a serial killer. Game? See, that's what I'm talking about. No. No! Dude, this, dude, this court just erupted. Order, order, order! Lana's remarks caused such a stir. The chaos in the courtroom could not be quelled. The cops would have to wait until the following day. What the actual heck is happening in this courtroom? 
Yes?